positive thinking won't let you do anything. I get so annoyed when I hear some people enthusiastically stand up and say, man, with positive thinking, you can just do anything. Just believe it in man. Think about it positive enough. You can do it. I believe that's ridiculous. See, I'm 60 years old. I don't care how positive I got. I could not whip a boxing champion. I don't care how positive I got. I could not play football in the NFL or the basketball in the NBA. I don't care how positive I got. I couldn't perform major surgery on you and have you live. Nor could I give you a lecture on nuclear physics. Positive thinking won't let you do anything. But it will let you do everything. Better the negative thinking will. Now, I know that for most busy people, getting regular exercise is about as easy as climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. But it can be done. You've just got to have a plan. You've got to set some goals because it's just as difficult to reach a destination you don't have as it is to come back from a place you've never been. Unless you have definite, precise, clearly defined goals, you will not realize the maximum potential that lies within you. And this applies to every aspect of your life, not just to exercise. Now, here's some steps you can take towards that end. First, identify your goals. And next, set a deadline for reaching them. Make a list of obstacles you have to overcome to reach your goals. Identify the people who can help you overcome those obstacles and make a list of skills you have and those you need to achieve your goals and then develop a plan. Now a word about goals themselves. There are seven different kinds of goals. There are physical, financial, spiritual, career, family, mental, and social. And these seven types of goals share several characteristics. First, to be effective, they must effect change. We must have some big goals because thinking big creates the excitement necessary for accomplishment. 